<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing. I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing. I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing. I say a uh, Ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing. I say a. Uh, what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up. We be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, crank it. Turn up for what Aries. Crank that, pop that, turn up, crank it for what Aries. What's up, gang, gang, Aries? What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Arian for the month of July 2019? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Are you guys in this space of resistance <sighs> towards the past? Resistance, for some of y'all, towards your damn future, okay? <laughs> and just really in this place of just focusing on your abundance and what it is that you're trying to build. The focus is legacy. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hi. I'm Mooka. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. All right? This is not going to resonate with everybody yet. It's a, it's a general, y'all. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box. Uh, you guys, stay tuned to the community tab because I run various specials. Okay? You guys... To the rich, for the new subscribers, hey y'all, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight for us. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. We party vibes only. We want a big happy family over here. Returning the subscribers, gang, gang, what's up, baby? Did you miss me? Because I miss y'all. If you were Aries like I'm an Aries, it's been going down. Down, down, down for me in H-Town. But it's been going down. Okay? <clears throat> you guys, <clears throat> this will be for the summer rather than Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aries for the first half of July. And you guys, you can actually take your time as fluid. So some of it may be resonating now, some of it may resonate later on in July. So we're going to get into it, all right? We're going to crank up with your intuitive messages. Let's get it, boom. You guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the love. I appreciate it. it truly, truly does. Let's get into it. First message is for, uh, that I, intuitive messages that I got for you guys. Throat chakra. I know y'all heard me. <clears throat> Apologies. Soul contracts. Karmic closes. Renewal. Mental illness. Realizations. Reprogramming of the subconscious. Perception. Overthinking. Diet change. Counselor, spiritual teacher, new direction, take a chance, blind faith, centeredness, sudden wealth, playfulness, autonomy, your truth, past life, temperament, spiritual gifts, self-mastery, dreams, soul journey, insomnia, control, Passive legalities. I'm recording manipulation. Jealous of your success. Okay. Woo. So if these intuitive messages did resonate with you, boo, let's talk about them. Let's let's get to this work. Okay. You guys, overall mess. I mean, overall energy for the reading. All right. I got two cards for you guys. So. We have the Seven of Spades with the Ten of Clubs. For some of you all, you are, um, some of you guys could just simply be overthinking a situation that evolves, I mean, that revolves around abundance, okay? Some type of family setting, family dynamic. Some of you all, you're overthinking when it comes to renewing um, some type of cycle with a family, uh, with a family member. For some of you all, this could be the mother and father of your children. And some of you all, this has to do with moving forward in some type of commitment or some type of relationship dynamic, okay? Definitely feel the energy of overthinking realms. All right, so first angel message this month comes from Archangel Raggio. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying in order, all right? 
So for some of you all, I definitely feel like, again, there's a focus on the throat chakra. Some of you all may be speaking the truth during this time. There will be conversations had when it comes to um, court cases, legalities. For some of you all there, I'm hearing inheritance, okay? Others of you, this has to do with... Um, rectification of here rectification some of you all may be connected also with archangel mehasiah especially if your birthday falls within between i believe april the 12th or the 10th and like the 14th or the 16th y'all look it up and quote me if i'm wrong some of you all may be very connected with archangel michael and metatron during your meditative set during your meditative sessions okay you may be also receiving some type of wayward wayward direction or wayward forward possibly from your ancestors okay i'm picking up a, a younger father figure this could be a brother this could be someone who passed over who had children who was a younger father figure this could be your son they want you to know that they are okay and for some of you all during these retrogrades some of you guys may be um, kind of reflecting on loved ones okay and kind of holding on to loved ones who have crossed over on the other side or connecting with them. Some of y'all may also figure out that you have mediumship abilities and there's a need for you not to be afraid but to own your abilities. Fear ain't real, y'all. We done been through the motherfucking mud, the floods, the storms, baby. What, what, the, what the fuck else can break a fucking pain? Nothing. You ain't scaring nothing. You understand? Nothing. Some of you all also... um. There is some, there's an energy here. If you're waiting on any type of decision to be made when it comes to uh, some form of legalities, I'm also hearing unemployment. So some of y'all could also be hearing back from unemployment or some of you all, unemployment is going to work in your favor if you actually want to, if you've been thinking about moving forward to um, apply for unemployment, okay? For some, there, there's some type of rectification. So if you were falsely accused or your name was ran in the mud in any form, fashion, motherfuckers finna going to reap what they saw. And it's not your fucking place to be overthinking about what type of decision that you need to make when it comes to somebody else's shit. Separate your shit from other people's shit, okay? Some of you all may be uh, feeling as if you're selfish during this time. Hell no, it ain't selfish and you need to communicate, protect your energy, protect your mental space. Some of you guys also be aware of manipulation. And, and I feel that it has to do with words like ensure that... What the fuck a motherfucker saying is matching up with what the fuck a motherfucker is doing. Actions speaking louder than words during this day, during this time. Next message I received, you guys, was Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important right now, okay? So for some of you all, this definitely has to do, there could be, again, a focus on your children, a focus on the wellness and the well-being, as well as um, kind of really being more considerate to your children's um, sensitivities, I'd say, okay? For others of you, some of you all may be welcoming children into the world. Congratulations, baby mocha loves the kids. But some of you all also may be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. And some of you all are feeling the energy of someone being pregnant by someone. I heard third party. So you could be pregnant by a third party. Maybe you're the third party. But I'm, I'm also feeling the energy of someone being in their head. Because for someone, this could be a situation where you've experienced this before, being a third party with having children. Some of you all are going to get some type of information or some type of clarity around the ancestral. I'm picking up a mother figure, okay? Some type of um, ancestral cycle within the mother's side of the family. And for some of you all, you're sitting here to break a cycle. But for some of you all, there's perception. There's this perception shift around it because someone chose finances instead of matters of the heart, which has to do with how you were raised and the love and the nurturing um, that you may feel felt as if you lacked, um, and you're, and, and it's meant for you not to fall in this bitter space. It's meant for you to transmute a cycle. Okay, so for some of you all, you really needed to be patient with yourself, be patient with every your children, and be patient with everyone involved to rectify a situation. Because again, we do have divine order here as well. Okay. Some of you all, there's a focus on the heart chakra, protecting your energy, protecting your feelings, protecting your heart space. Some of you all may be very sensitive to large crowds during this time as well. For some, especially those of us who are empaths um, or who are clairsentient or clairvoyant, clairaudient, your gifts may be at a heightened peak during this time. So you really need to listen to yourself and trust yourself. If you're talking to somebody and you're getting them damn bubbly, rumbly feelings in your damn stomach, it's the reason why your spirit is uneasy. Trust that, okay? The last message, angel message that I got for you all was Archangel Germion. All is well. Everything is happening as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand, okay? So again, the sense of rectification. For some of you all, you may be receiving 
messages in your dream space. Some of y'all may be connecting with someone in another realm within the 5D realm, especially if you're on that twin flame journey. Others of you, there's a need for you all to block out any type of distractions because for some of you all, you're dealing with twin flames who are separating themselves from karmic situations, karmic people. It could even be their family and friends and job situations that have become blockages around people letting go. Some of you all may be receiving messages. I, don't, I really don't like making videos about the twin flame journey. I said that I was going to for y'all say eventually, but I, I, I really don't like making messages about that because I, I don't, my, I myself have mastered myself not to get caught up in that aspect. And when I open that damn door, I find myself being pulled and gravitated towards that energy. So again, you, you got to know thyself. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you all also may be receiving uh, th synchronicity. Some of y'all may be seeing 333, 777, 444, elements of the nine, 66, 3336, 12, okay? For some of you all, that 1212 have to do with 33 expansion, but it has to do with divine intervention. So for some of y'all that have some type of, um, some of y'all may be experiencing some type of ancestral or divine intervention in a situation. It's like as soon as you release some shit, as soon as you let something go, then it, bam, it falls right into your lap. It's the actual obsession that is actually causing the delay. I know y'all tired of hearing that shit and reading. There's been a delay. There's been a delay. What what the fuck is the hold up? What, the, the plane broke? Caught on work? Uber fucked up? I mean, I understand. But the delay comes within the mastery of self. I don't know if y'all just seen that light over there flicker. But it did. And um, I feel that for somebody, I just literally, I just gave somebody a light bulb moment. But for some of you all, that also has to do also with a light bulb moment being some of you all are going to experience some type of light bulb moment, okay, where there was once darkness in a situation, things are going to be illuminated, and they're going to be illuminated. I feel like it has to do with your reasoning, your perception, your understanding, and what you're willing to compromise in order to have fairness in the situation. In order to receive something, Aries, you got to give something, period, all right? Hold on one second. It's dead? Okay, thank you. Thank you, baby. Sorry, y'all. That's my little Gemini. Some y'all, y'all might have a Gemini finna come in and set some shit off, okay? In a good way, bad way. <laughs> That's up to you guys. Okay, so I've been doing things a bit different with these angel messages. And also, for some of you all, there's going to be some type of expansion when it comes to the um, to the crown chakra. Some of you all also may be... May be Opening up to receive and connect in either a subconscious space or in a meditative space and connecting with um, archangels and also spirits, benevolent spirits from another realm. For some of y'all, this has to do with your ancestry. Some of y'all also, some of your dreams may also be connected to past life energies, okay? And I feel the spirit is using familiarity with the faces that you know to be in this life. But remember, um, souls don't die, okay? Vessels do. And even with the vessel being dead, some of you guys, you have a very, very, very important purpose. Some of you guys are being used as a vessel. If you're being guided, you guys, to look at the ancient gods and actually like study into um, subjects such as like of uh, of Fuchsius. Um, we are familiar with Isis and Osiris, but Obatala, Yemiya, Chango, Naut, Mayat. Some of you all have comedic um, backgrounds as well as past life connections. <clears throat> and for some of you all, it's destined. Some of y'all are going, there's going to be some type of rectification when it comes to a family dynamic, you guys. Somebody has awakened to the actual purpose around a starseed child being born, okay? And for some of y'all, it's two of them. You could be finding out that you're pregnant with twins. Some of y'all could recently just had twins. Okay. I definitely see three signs that came out, you guys. All right. So this could be associated to um, some of the things that you could be dealing with or the energies. This could also, I'm hearing Venus and I also heard rising. So some of you guys could also have this within your Venus or your rising or this would affect you in some sort of way. Okay. I got Pisces. <clears throat> I got Cancer. I got Sagittarius. Okay? Alright, so let's get it. Also, from the Zen Tarot, 
you know y'all like mocha for real yes there's a focus on the self a lot of you all may be having issues when it comes to um taking a leap of faith and taking some type of move or opportunity for some of you all i'm hearing someone say i'm not ready i'm not ready there's an element of self-doubt you need to do some type of inner reflection work and for some of you all some and, and I, I say inner reflection some of you all some inner work going inward because for some of you all it has to do with still needing to heal the element of validation from other people okay of being a people pleaser or trying to get look that lipstick on my teeth trying to get everything done for other people and there's this element of you putting yourself last and now that you you have the opportunity to be in the spotlight areas you're not really trusting yourself okay and some of you all this is trust around the situation when it comes to matters of the heart with taking a leap of faith some of you guys could have someone trying to return and they want you to have a leap of faith but some of you all spirit wants to remind you that you are the creator of your own you are the creator of your own destiny so for some of you all, this going inward is going, trusting yourself, going inward. For some of you all, this is tied to some type of creative endeavor. So for those of you who are writers, painters, readers, healers, um, spiritual teachers, gurus, for those of you who are sages, for those of you who are white witches, for those of you who want to create some type of, um, I'm hearing herbless, okay? So some of y'all who want to uh, create some type of herbs or create some type of medicine when it comes to um, holistics, some type of holistic for some of you all, it has to do is tied in with your creativity when it comes to holistics. Others of you, I'm also hearing art gallery. I'm also hearing resources. I'm hearing grants. And for some of you all, this is about where you choose to focus your intent. You're manifesting at a very rapid race, at a race, at a very rapid pace, Aries. Y'all, this Mercury retrograde fucks the words up every time. Be patient with me. Even with me, I talk fast. But there's a need for me to slow the fuck down. Because the reason why I'm running into them damn problems is because I talk so damn fast. Okay? For some of you all, this is about self-mastery. Knowing that you are the creator. Knowing that you are the magician. Being at one with your own autonomy, autonomy individually. Knowing that you can manifest whatever the hell it is that you want once you learn to align the mind, the mind, the body, the spirit. A lot of you all, this is about you finding a sacred space. And finding that sacred space first to not only nurture, but trust what it is that you're manifesting. That starts within the self, within belief of the self. Because for some of you all, there's a sense of overthinking. Okay? For some of you all, there's a sense of being so far in the future, but truly losing the element of the now because that's where the stress and the burdens are coming from. That's not your part. A lot of us are trying to do God's job with this control, and a lot of us are learning through this month of true life that every situation that we try to control, baby, it's not going to work out the way that we planned it to work out because spirit is wanting us to release that, that sense of control and just learn to trust ourselves and what we feel because we already have this inner over understanding. Of what it is that we're trying to manifest. How we know it to be. What we know to be true. What, what, what spirit has placed within our subconscious. Within our meditative mind. Within our meditative space. What spirit has revealed to us. It's about trusting. In God. But also the God that lives within you. And learning how to connect the dots to that God that lives within you. By first embracing. Not judging. And forgiving elements of your shadow self. And becoming one with them. Because without the elements of your shadow self, you wouldn't be able to see smooth through other motherfuckers and learn to trust your foresight. If it worked for you with manifesting negative shit, why won't you transmit that energy and only putting your focus into positivity? Positive things and anybody that comes and disturbs that motherfucker. Peace, trust, and know that um, you're making the right decision by resisting that shit. Speak your truth. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. You don't need a mother, another motherfucker to tell you that you're great. God elevates people, and God uses people as vessels to elevate other people. You be thankful. You walk in the heart. You walk in the spirit of gratitude, and that attitude shall prevail each and every time. Because again, as being the creator, you also have to master the art of humility, and that also comes from within you. And in the external, it comes from the bullshit ass situation that you can either walk away from, 
or pop off and go to jail when you already have a money issue. So now you got to come up with some damn bill money to get the fuck out. You know how we rock. Come on now. Y'all know who I'm talking to. I'm gang gang. Come on now. Think about it. Hear people out. Be receptive. Trust in your own inner outer strengths. You are the magician. You have every element that you need. A lot of you all, your gifts are in, are heightened because they followed you into this life from a past life. Some of you all also may be assessing or going back and reassessing your Akashic records, okay? <clears throat> so let's get into the aspect of love. I'd love to know what's going on in this love life of mine. Because it's still like waters. Still, still. I ain't going to say swampy waters because they love it. <laughs> But I will say, listen, I'm under a bed, hiding in my room, sitting up in my room, yes, getting my work done, boo, because I listen, I got time. Here, what messages do you have for my summer ride Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sun of Aries? Okay, so show me one more time. For the month of July, 2019, All right, first thing they want to pop over, okay, with the Knight of Cups, okay, so some of you all, some of you all could be dealing with the water sign, or if not dealing with the water sign, some, yeah, some of you all are ending the cycle with the damn water sign, you're ending the cycle with this person, I feel as if you're moving away, okay, or this, some, some of y'all, this could be divine intervention where you're being offered an opportunity in order, yeah, that you need to take a leap of faith in order to take it, and for some of y'all, this does have to do with moving, okay, Others of you could be ending a cycle where you allowed half assness when it comes to the love department from possibly a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, or a Taurus. This person, y'all, is very sorry. Where they once could not see, baby, there has been light in the darkness, okay? Now this person is wanting to manifest you in your life, Aries, and a lot of you is just like, fuck it, I'm moving away. Some of you all, your manifestations fall right in the midst of your damn lap as soon as you choose to move away from a situation which could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? For some of you all, you could be moving away from an earth sign. This could be a very practical practical offer, but some of you all, you feel either this person feels that you're indecisive, Aries, or some of you all could be having to choose between two partners, okay? This could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that's needing to make a decision. I feel like there's a lot of passion in this decision. You're very passionate about this person. Some of y'all, some of y'all are moving away from somebody who got a fucking drinking problem. I feel like that has been the toxicity in your relationship. Some of you guys could possibly be overindulging. There's a need for you guys to move away from that energy. And some of you guys have this inner, uh, inner under overstanding, okay, possibly just something with a Gemini or an Aries, okay, possibly a Taurus or a Scorpio is getting ready to be renewed. Some of you all, you had to walk away from this person in order for this renewal to come about. Some of y'all, some of you guys want, some of you guys could have walked away from a Scorpio person in the past due to manipulation, but now this person is wanting to come forward and make you an offer, Aries, but there's, there's this fear of being rejected. There's this fear of opening up and being vulnerable. Some of you guys, the father, the father or, your, or the mother of your damn child is getting ready to come forth. This person does not want you to close a cycle with them. This person actually wants to come forth and show you areas they want to come in. They want to move slowly. I really feel this person wants to get your booty. However, this person is not going to move extremely fast because this person don't want you to look at them and then look at them with the same expectation that they come in with their lustful energy that they had in the past. Okay. For some of you all, you getting over. Yeah, some of y'all, you're getting over situations from the past, people from the damn past. And for some of you all, you're finally getting to the realization that some shit is just not going to work when it comes to dealing with a Capricorn. Some of y'all feel as if this person focuses on, focuses on money and not the relationship aspect of the union. And I feel like some of you all want to move towards a relationship that, that with someone who supports you, with someone who is able to, you know, assist you when it comes to your ascension, your growth. Some of you guys are tired of having to be the one with all the damn answers. You want to be able to pour your energy into someone who has enough and is willing to pour back into you, okay? Some of you guys, some of y'all got a new beginning with another Aries, okay? This could be a Leo or a Sag. Some of y'all going to find out that you, who you think your twin flame is is not your twin flame. Some of y'all going to find out that your twin flame is that person. Some of y'all labeled your twin flame a karmic. I feel like you, you, you have a realization with this in your dreams, okay? 
some of you guys could some of you guys could have someone who you have a child with. This person wants to come back and, and, and make a practical offer for, towards you. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this person could have moved away from you in the past and chose somebody who had more money. But I definitely found, feel that this person still found themselves thinking about you and still kind of wanting to be in your damn energy. But Aries, you said, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. And I feel like... This person that walked away in the past, and in the past they could have been extremely fucking arrogant, okay? But I definitely feel like this person is either going, going through some type of transformation, and they're wanting to come back, and I hear I hear a third time is the last time, okay? So somebody could feel like three strikes you out. Someone is going to make one last attempt to make an offer. I feel like this, Aries, whoever this person is, first off, first and foremost, they feel like they owe you some money, okay? For some of you guys... Some of y'all getting ready to move to a whole new place or wanting to move somewhere where there's water. Some of you guys to some type of like country setting or where there's a like mountain setting. Others of you could also be going on some type of some somebody could be expressing themselves on some type of hiking trip or some type of trip. We're doing something in the nature. It could also be some type of like water event. So this could also have to do with somebody going like um. If not hiking, this could have to do with somebody going, what do they call them things where they go uh, in the tubes and shit? And they, the tubes go uh, the, down the little river of the water like somebody um, canoeing. Henry, somebody finna pull you out your damn comfort zone. They're going to ask you to go somewhere that is completely out of your damn comfort zone. I feel that you need to take this trip because someone is going to express something to you. Someone, some of y'all is moving to... For those of you who have been dealing with somebody in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, don't be surprised if this person comes back and they want to move really, really, really fast. Because some of y'all got somebody want to move slow, but some of y'all got somebody want to move extremely fast. And some of y'all got somebody who just a damn, they just a blockage. This person, this person is very intuitive. This could be somebody who you have a child with. I feel like this person has the intention of coming back and still giving little to you. Somebody's going to try and crumb you, Aries, during this time. Or somebody could be trying to crumb you. They want to offer you a new beginning, but they want to try to control the situation when it comes to giving little by little. Because this person don't want you to move on. And I feel it's some punk ass shit. But somebody, somebody's child's mother or child's father, this person knows that the cycle when it comes to the love aspect is over, but this person is using the children in order to manipulate some type of new beginning. I feel that some of you guys already know this. Yeah. But I feel like some of you guys may need to kind of control your temper when it comes to dealing with this particular person who could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Somebody, y'all, some y'all, some y'all, some, some y'all got Gemini not leave us for y'all. They sorry, Aries. They sorry, but this person refuses to lose. I'm feeling the aspect of I don't want to lose. Someone feels as if they have invested, invested a lot in you, Aries. For some y'all, this could be a Capricorn. And for some of you guys, yeah, this could be a past life hurdle with releasing yourself and actually walking in your power. Some of you all are walking away from a Scorpio during this time due to the fact that this person don't know how to communicate with you. Some of you all also have a Sagittarius that wants to come in. This person wants to communicate. They may start off communicating with you playful. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries who you could have walked away from because they was toxic or a Taurus. Or this person could have chosen an air sign or an earth sign over you over the beginning that you have. Because some of y'all have a past life connection. Some of you all are destined to have children with this person. Some of y'all may be finding out that you're pregnant by this person, but it was with some type of third party dealing. You could have moved away from this individual. Some of y'all are going to find out that this individual, when you close the cycle, whatever it was that they were holding on to, this person could be wanting to release them. You could be finding out that this person did release them. Some of y'all, this person's ass is in jail or could be going to jail. And some of you guys... Well, there have been communication in the past, possibly with another uh, communication issues in the past, possibly with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you and this person have taken or will be taking some time apart. But I do feel around Leo season, you and this person will be coming back to start something new. And I feel that you are going to be going into a new cycle, one that is very abundant with this person. Someone needs to see things from a different perception. And someone needs to release judgment when it comes to looking at the other person because I definitely feel like there could have been some type of third party. Yeah. <clears throat> some of you guys could have been in a third party involving someone who you were committed with or someone who was already in a commitment. This could be involving a Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys who um, this other person put you in a third party with, this person is stalking you, Aries. This person could have left the other person. 
And for some of you all, they're stalking to see if this person walked away from them to come start something new and start some type of family dynamic with, with you. For some of y'all, this person could have been using black magic. For some of y'all, this other person could have been a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I definitely feel like after walking away from some type of heavy emotional burden or heavy emotional um, situation or a situation that had your mind a bit cloudy and took a little bit of your focus, you're walking right into abundance, baby. Things are transforming for you because you chose to trust and have that blind faith and trust in the things that was going on behind the scenes that you could not see. Some of you guys, I'm hearing redo. And some of y'all getting redo possibly with the Gemini. Some of y'all is with the Twin Flame. Others of you, somebody wants to help you and offer you some type of stability. Aries, if you're waiting on some money to come through, maybe you're not going through anything in the legality system, but someone has been watching you, and this person has only been watching you to kind of figure you out, because I feel like for some of y'all, I'm hearing six. Others of you, I'm hearing ten. Others of you, I'm hearing three. Others of you, I'm hearing four. This could be weeks or months, but some of y'all have not talked to this person in this long, and I'm hearing this person is wanting to come back and transmute a family situation. This person is now finding the confidence to actually make a move, and they're coming with a solid offer. Now, some of you all, it's a need for you all to get out of this resistance type energy with whoever this is in your past. could be a fire sign or a water sign. But this person is coming through very passionate. They now recognize, yes, yeah, some of y'all with the damn two of cups here, the six of cups, and the damn six uh, and the damn lovers. Some of y'all, this person could actually be a damn twin flame. Others of you all just have to do with a past life soulmate. Others of you just have to do with somebody who got the potential to be a life partner. Some of y'all, some of y'all also know, some of you guys may be feeling that something big is coming. For some of you all, this have to do with you needing to make a judgment call and someone coming to give you truth and clarity. I feel like somebody could be going through some type of legal, legal, like, Aries, you may get caught up in the middle of somebody else's war, okay? If you were dealing with the child's father, child's mother, this person may be going through some type of separation, possibly with the mother or with the wife or a husband. And for some of you all, this person, whoever they're connecting with is playing dirty. This person possibly could have um, submitted or resubmitted some type of child support or possibly found out or went digging and found out that you had a child support case or something like that. I'm hearing strong child support, a child support case or something regarding child. And this person is literally throwing somebody under the bus, but it's going to pan out in your favor, Aries, because I definitely feel that you're going to receive some type of unexpected communication about it. And whoever this person is, they've been avoiding this. For some of y'all, this person has been avoiding for this information to come out and hide themselves. They could have even ghost you, Aries. So hide this to protect their protect their assets, protect their um, stability in their relationship, protect their money. But the shit's out. <clears throat> the shit's out regarding juggling. And for some of you all, this person is coming to hold on to you. Some of y'all got an earth sign in the past who was juggling want to keep their damn options open. But now this person is alone out in the damn cold and they don't know what to do. And yes, this person with your ace of cups. For some of you all. But the justice is, for some of you all, this person could also be coming back with some type of legality, so some type of um, troubles when it comes, when it comes, some of y'all, this person could even be running from the police, I'm hearing. Some of y'all, this could involve a Sagittarius. Others of you are starting a new beginning. Some type of new stable offer, possibly with the Leo, a Pisces, a Cancer. Something that where there's equal give and take. Some of you all could also be in the energy of rejecting a Pisces because you felt as if you gave too much to a relationship. Now this person is wanting to come back and give equally to you, Aries. But some of you all are making a judgment call. And some of y'all are making a judgment to focus on yourself, focus on continuously building your empire because you used that, you turned that pain into power. You transmuted that. Some of you all could also be finding out that you're pregnant possibly by a Pisces, a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Aries. But you definitely, some of you guys, especially those of you who have a your own business, y'all, money looks good for the month of July. Money looks well and swell here with this damn emperor. So for those of you who have been working your ass off, feeling as if you ain't had time for that shit, you just been putting putting all of these thoughts and all of these emotions into focusing on your business, you will receive some type of massive payout. I'm hearing extremely productive. Some of you all may be hearing some positive news when it comes to the closing of some type of small business loan. Some of you all also will hear some positive news when it comes to pulling up, pulling away from your 401k. Some of you guys, somebody, a fire sign, water sign, earth sign, this person could want to come forth and reconcile. 
They want to move fast. Aries, there's an element of time. Someone feels as if they're running out of time. Others of you, this have to do with you making a decision either to reconcile with someone in your past or move on to new love. Because some of you all, the coin looks good. Love looks good. And I definitely feel like it's going to be a slow start. But it's going to be a slow start into something that moves extremely fast later on as you continue to move forward. And for some of y'all, this has to do around the travel. Like un unbeknownst to you, you're moving to, through the door of damn, you know, financial abundance as well as abundance when it comes to your emotional se sector. Some of y'all this damn Leo and had a towel moment, like the perspective shift. They had a revelation that you the one. Some of you all, there's news coming in to go them damn twins. Some of y'all finna find out somebody had a, a one night stand and y'all live in more than they bargained for, but this was destined to happen. I'm hearing. Some of you all, I'm hearing chosen. Someone was chosen to be the vessel for these star seeds here. A boy and a girl. Two boys, two girls. I heard boy and girl. This could be with someone who could have this could be by someone who could have left you out in the cold. I definitely feel what you don't know is Aries and someone unbeknownst to you wants to come back. And work on it. Someone actually could have walked away and moved away, possibly from an air sign and earth sign, because they wanted to have victory with you. And I feel like some of you guys are not going to trust it. You're not really trusting this person or their damn intentions. But spirit wants you to know to trust yourself and trust what trust what you feel. I told you trust them little bubbly, put them little bubbly ass guts up, uh, bubbly, them bubbly ass uh, gut feelings in your stomach. Sometimes they for the good. Sometimes they for the bad because they look ugly, good feeling. Could also be butterflies. Some of you all, this has been a hurdle, and this has to do with the soul contract. And you're needing to trust your dreams, trust your ancestors' guidance during this time. When it, if if you can remember certain things when it comes to your dream space, get up and write it down, Aries. There's a sense of self mastery, listening to yourself, but finding this space of centeredness in order to find. Trust in the information that you're receiving so that you can trust in the information that you're receiving. For some of you all, this is about experiencing. Experiencing in order to teach. Teaching and learning. I heard teaching and learning. Okay? So, you guys, this is what I have for you guys for the month of July. I will be back with mid-month July's. Let's hope I'm on time. <laughs> y'all Aries, y'all know we be late for every motherfucking thing. It's not purposely, especially when we make plans. We can set the alarm two hours early and still be late. Y'all understand. You know what time it is. But I love you all. Long, long time. And I will see you guys again mid-month. Peace, love, many blessings, much abundance, you guys. And namaste. I, family, 